Uh, I'm Halo One. I'm from Orange County, California. My hometown is Anaheim to be exact. I reside in Breda currently at the time. I'm a graffiti writer slash tattoo artist. Uh, I've been writing graffiti for about 20 years now. And I'm new, fairly new to tattooing. The tattooing aspect uh, came into my life about a year ago. Uh, I was introduced to graffiti about when I was around 15 years old, which was right around by 98, somewhere in that time frame, 1998. Um, I was introduced to it by my cousins, Eats and Dim. Um, I've always been artistic, so I've always uh, drawn things and, and, and had a fascination with art. Um, I remember back when I was in like third or fourth grade, I used to, uh, when I was asked what I wanted to be growing up, I listed artists, so I've always known I wanted to be an artist. And um, fast forwarding back to them, one night I was hanging out with them and uh, my cousin was a full blown graffiti writer at that time so he started to like, he pulled a spray can out and started writing on a wall and uh, it completely blew me away. So I was like, hey, uh, let me do, let me see that, I can do that. And then he laughed at me and he's like, no you can't. And I was like, yeah I can. So I, I took the can and uh, I quickly realized that I couldn't do it and that's when uh, the obsession came. The obsession came from that point on that I've never, and I've never let it go just to uh, figure it out somewhat, you know, and, and just be a full-blown graffiti writer. The love grew at that moment though. So I completely became obsessed and fell in love with graffiti and just um, letter structure, forming letters and, and, you know, that's really what graffiti is. So just having good letter form and structure, which is also something that pans back to me being a kid and um, getting letters from my dad in prison and, and copying his handwriting and stuff like that. That's always been like a deep-rooted fascination with me. So from there, I just uh, built upon my my letter building skills and, and creating original formats of lettering, whether it be custom Old English or script or just traditional graffiti style fonts. Um, and in doing that, a lot of people got a lot of people's attention to get it tattooed. So I started off drawing stuff, and then people would go get it tattooed. And then I would create patterns and they would get them tattooed. And, or I would even draw on the person and then a tattoo artist would do it. And I would always get urged to, you know, pick up a gun and, and start to try it out. But just fear and lack of, you know, really focus kind of held me back from that aspect until um, maybe about a year ago, right around that time frame, um, I had a, a close friend, Mondo, that was uh, tattooing. And I asked if he would, you know, like kind of mentor me and give me the the basics of it and he told me you know just um bring a body dude he's like bring a body and give it a go and then you'll know if you like it right off the bat so a friend reached out to me and he was like you know i'm i'm willing to do it uh, i poked his skin dude and just like graffiti the obsession became full blown at that point i've been tattooing uh, non-stop ever since inspiration first and foremost would have to be um my family my wife and my daughter for sure they inspire me greatly to uh, achieve new things and chase my dreams and really just make it. Um, as far as like what I'm into when it comes to lettering and, and graffiti, um, Norm, rest in peace, is somebody that I admired for many, many years. Um, Big Sleeps, Blocks, just to name a couple guys. Those guys are, are heavy hitters in the, in the lettering world and guys that I admire their work ethic. Anybody that knows me knows that Orange County is uh, it's in my heart. No matter where I go or what I do, like I've never thought to ever leave Orange County. It's a place that through and through is just inside of me and I feel it's such a part of me that outside of it, I feel like I'm away from home uh, constantly. I never want to leave Orange County uh, at all. It's just, it's just a place that I call home and in my opinion, it's one of the best places to live. I decided to collaborate with the county based on the fact of uh, I saw that they were just a movement for Orange County that was positive. There was no negative light shining on it. It was just like a, all about kind of like promoting the area we're from and then doing it in a facet that was positive and just like in a friends and family and uplifting matter. And that attracted me right off bat. Um, I know how I saw you guys was through like a, an event flyer that active was having, active skate shop was having, you guys were there and you were highlighted in the event. And that's how I came to uh, find you guys. And I reached out and um, everything just seemed to click. And hopefully ever the rest will be history. If I could give any advice to uh, any aspiring entrepreneurs, it would be um, just to really take focus 
of your dream and go after it recklessly, you know? Just really, really chase after it recklessly and don't worry about people not understanding it or maybe even not supporting it, you know? If you're lucky enough to have support and encouragement in chasing your dreams, then I think that's a plus. But if that's not there, like don't lose sight of what it is you know you're supposed to be doing or what's in your heart because only you really know that that's what you're supposed to be doing. And when you pursue that wholeheartedly, um, you'll never get anything back negative. It's always gonna be, you're always gonna be pleased with what it is that you're doing. I know chasing my art, it's something I've never been able to let go. I, at times I, I lost focus of it, but um, I've never gotten anything negative back up in it. So just chase your dreams recklessly and don't let anything hold you back.